So everybody's on the same page. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're pretty vague about it in general. The gangsters like to claim they're looking for the grave of a friend with picks and shovels. Mm -hmm. The archaeologists act all official about it, saying they're conducting serious research. Honestly, I think they're not really scientists, just rich. You know how some delivery systems are like used both like uh, by the streets and by like medicine, for example, syringes or tongue dissolving, right? Tongue dissolving or, or like like there's street drugs and there's official real like medicine yeah, okay. that you and that you get in your body by using syringes, okay, or by putting it under your tongue and letting it dissolve, All right. or by putting it on a patch or something like that, right? True. There's nothing medical I can think of that you snort. <laughs> and that is like a super just like just the process of in getting anything in your body that way seems so fucking nuts you know like a nasal spray admittedly is like a cleaner idea of that but it, it's well, not cleaning and you're but that but that oh. does it for you in a way it's not it's not the same as putting your head to a table and going rail yeah you know like, if you ever had to go to the pharmacy, and then they sold you a powder, and then gave you a, like, here's your little transparent uh, 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 credit card-shaped cutter. <laughs> this is your medicine. Right. That would be fucked up. Two lines every four hours. That would be fucked up! Okay. Right? If you don't eat two hours before or after. Yeah. <laughs> like, the nasal spray and or Vicks, like, things and shit like that. Like, it... it, it there's a... There's a... a you know... A distancing that that kind of does, but the entire ritual of the cut and rail is so like, oh my god, how do you get past that, like, just extreme weirdness of things don't go in your nose. Yeah. You it's know, just... air goes in your nose. That's it. Like, yeah. The junkies, for some reason, are pretty upfront about it. They just say they're looking to snort some blow out of a dead man's nasal cavity. Just like that. Honest men on an honest quest. You should join them. Oh yeah, I'm sure in the past, fucking, in the days of, of, of the, the four humors and people wearing plague doctor masks, there was probably some official recommendations that you snort something. By now, I'd say I know about as much about it as anyone on the coast. Okay, I'm convinced. I guess Let's we got a quest. It. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on just a minute. Finding it right now is literally impossible. Oh? Why? What? <laughs> Electrochem is <laughs> mad. For one, the way is blocked by that big lorry that says Delta Logistics Company on the side. We'll, de we'll deal with it. We definitely have to search the area behind that lorry, too. Yet, it is impassable. Yes, we have business with them. Let's solve the case so we can get past this lorry. <laughs> and second... Outfitting an expedition like that is expensive. It'd have to be a big production to do the cocaine skull justice. You need new gear, people who know what they're doing, all kinds of provisions. <laughs> it's just not feasible within the economic and temporal frame of our current setup. Matter of fact, unless a bunch of money just falls out of the sky, we might never know what's up with that skull. He must have had the worst business ever. Do you think it's possible that the increased revenue from voice acting might allow there to be more money in put into this endeavor so that now we can go back and create it since a whole new f stream of revenue has been found for this uh, expedition? I have to agree. We barely have what we need to solve the case we've got now. We can't afford to run around chasing after quasi-mythical pieces of drug paraphernalia. Though we managed to squeeze in some Twitch integration. Oh yes, that's true. <laughs> Besides, it would look extremely bad for the RCM to be caught up in something that has the word cocaine writ large on it. The PR is tricky on this. Damn, that's too bad. 
Wait, maybe there's another way. Maybe up around the coast. Don't give up now. Eyes on the prize. The Hylian Loach says electrochemistry. <laughs> <laughs> we can get that Star Fox R Wing in, in um, the Kokiri village. Yeah, well, that's the reality situation for you. Who knows, though? Maybe someday we'll get our chance. So that bottle just gave us access to the idea of um, incomplete DLC. Yeah. Well, at least it ain't cross Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hit him. Homosexual underground. Thought complete. Maybe you should stop obsessing about your own and other people's sexuality. Feels like it's about time to do that. You thought about this for eight hours. Not only should you stop, you should tell Kim you've stopped obsessing about other people's sexuality too. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. <laughs> Unless you already got him killed because you were obsessing about your sexuality. There's no way of telling from within your brain. But for your own sake, please say you didn't. Stopped obsessing about sexuality. That's a pretty good conclusion. That's an improvement. That's, you can carry on with your life at this point. Yes, I accept the homo culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <gasps> Let's reactivate. All right. Now our equals. Yeah, I, li I like how it's like, the, like literally, it's like, have you thought about it? Good. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> In conclusion, great. nobody gives a fuck, and if they do, fuck them. That's great. Kim should like us more for that. Yes. I have big news, Kim. Tell Kim about how you're no longer obsessed over your sexuality. Okay. I have managed to stop obsessing about my sexuality. Nothing, actually. As I'm saying this, I realize I would not be telling the truth. Oh, the catch-22 of talking about how you're not ta thinking about it anymore? Great. Imagine all the time you'll have for work now. Matter of fact, we should get back to it right now. Yes. No. Mm -hmm. Just one thing, though. One thing. What? Are you part of the homosexual underground? That seems very contradictory to what we said we would just do. That also seems extraordinarily unprofessional. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's literally the opposite of the check we just got. You didn't stop at all, did you? You are just obsessing about other people's sexuality now. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... But am I? I'll spare you another 20-hour mind project. Yes, I am. Now let's get back to work. Okay. Are you available? That's the truth. No, 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 no. What? We have a chance to to bond, Kim. No. Ask him one more question. Fuck off. Oh, man. No. I don't like him like that. He's a he's a, he's a he's a boy. I don't I don't I'm not I'm not getting the romance vibe there. Okay. Okay, you know, two different precincts, you know. Not nah, like, like Star Cross Star Cross precincts, you know? <laughs> no, 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 no. Montague no, 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 no. and Capulets, you nah, know. Nah. Listen, Reggie, here's what's up, and let's be fully real. Would you do that to Kim? Do you think he deserves this? That's fucked. Kim deserves better. Yeah, not on, not on the job. Okay? Not on the job. Let's be real. Yeah, maybe at he fucking deserves better. Maybe at nine after. Don't the you debrief. don't you don't you dare even approach. You know, let's go uh, see Gart. Maybe he can make some drinks for us. I can sing you a song. It would be great. That's the real real. <sighs> now let's get our wrench out. And your hat. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, we gotta. We're currently all logic'd up, aren't we? Too much logic. Hey, it's a magnesium. That's good. Money. Uh, we're almost at 20 bucks. 
Oh yeah, and you can sell that alcohol. Uh, just need 50 more cents and then you're good. Maybe you have some tear as well. Uh, where'd my ledger go? Wait, am I in the wrong tab? Damn it. Am I crazy? What are you looking for? The ledger? I'm holding it. Then I want to replace the tear bag. Never mind. Sorry. Tear bag and then ledger. And then it's it rotates left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Oh. When you equip the hands. That's about, yeah. When I, I put the... Anyways. <laughs> I put the crowbar in my hand automatically to went to one hand. So then I thought I was going to switch it back to that item. But instead, it took the ledger... Uh, 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 it took the tear away because it's doing a cycle. Okay. You understand? From left to right. You don't understand. <laughs> it's okay. So when you double click an item, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the pry bar now, right? Okay. So then the next thing I pick up, it's gonna go to right. But I was like, oh, will it just replace the item I just picked up? Uh -huh. The pry bar. And it's like, no, it doesn't. It just puts it in the other hand. So there's a cycle yeah. of left, right, left, right occurring. Yeah, so that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So that, that's, that's <laughs> okay. it. I was going for the one-two swap. So thank that's you for the, clarifying. No problem. Just letting you know why there was a little moment of like, bop, bop. Uh, yes. So, hat. We wanted our uh, two. Plus one, minus one. Uh, glasses. Visual calc. And logic through the roof right now. Drama down. Logic and authority down. Yeah, we wanted uh, these ones instead. And then our shirt. I believe we wanted physical instrument up. Or no, we were rocking this one. <laughs> yes. With the authority down. And then uh, I think that's all we changed. Yeah. yeah and we have our rhetoric. Which we could do for a, a dr but the, the 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 bow tie is just drama, like <laughs> there's no thoughts associated, right? So let's our, our our talk skill might be more helpful to keep on. Yeah, you want to talk too. more than act. Yeah, you don't want to wow them. All right, it's getting a little late, admittedly. Let's talk to these kids, though. Whoa. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. Lillian's twin. Please be okay. Yeah, be normal. Can we just have some normal kids? Yes. He watches his brother kick the stone with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. Okay. Hey, where's your mom? You guys look identical. My kids, take care. The stone kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden, as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just stated. He looks just like me. Yeah. yeah. Says. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. Both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt. Yeah, they seem pure up to now. Seems all right. You're bad with kids. The lieutenant <laughs> remarks with evident glee. I am, yes. And what are you, Kid Master General? It's impossible to be good with kids. They're too stupid. <laughs> you the Kid Master General, Kim? Maybe I am. Now, how about some actual police work? We are not getting anything here. Where's your mom? The kids don't reply. Absorbed in their little game. Okay. Bye, kids. Yay! Happy kids! That was a great story. Love talking to these kids. How, the, the, just the fact that that was nothing is good. Yeah. Good, wholesome nothing. Yep. The fact that I feel like they're enjoying their childhood. Just refreshing glass of water with mm. some white rice. Just, just nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to see the details. Colors warm, welcoming, and cozy. Flowers, trowel, where nothing uh, really grows. Maybe in spring. You know, sometimes you just need to see some kids that are just not content. <laughs> They're just kids. Okay. Then, inside we have a nice looking house. 
Hello. Hello, mister. Oh, a young girl. Little Barely Lily. Barely four or five years old. Sits wow. on the sofa. She is looking at you with frank curiosity. You sound pretty... Like... Spoken? For a five-year-old? She's a small stuffed animal. Occasionally, she twirls it around. Are you at, like, conversation level? Where are your parents? Uh... My mom's outside. And I don't really know about my dad. She gives you a bright smile, like it's a good thing. Okay. Are you the one that's, like, watching over your brothers? Yeah? Yes. They don't want to play with me. They're older and play outside. Oh, they're older. Oh. I didn't get that impression. Yeah. They look the same. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell them apart. They look identical, right? That's, That's the, the whole thing. it's the whole uh low income area, kids watching kids thing. Where, you know, a lot of king cases where they're just like, Hey, like why do your grades suck? And it's like, Because I have to watch my siblings because my parents aren't home, because they work three jobs and watching kids is a full time job and homework is the least of my worries when I have like literally mouths to feed because Damn. I'm acting as a second mom. <laughs> you know? Fair enough. Or one step over from that, you hit the wire season one, and it's just like, hey, child that is like seven or eight, how come you do so bad on your math, but you always do the count correct when we give you the responsibility in our drug operation that is the count? And then the child replies, because if you fuck up the count, they fuck you up. Damn. And you're like... All right, wire. <laughs> Thanks. You yep. Gotta get on that. <laughs> it's literally one of the best television shows ever made for a reason. No hyperbole. Okay. I I don't try to fucking shove it down your throat, but if you're gonna watch a show about like street and cops and fucking whatever, all of that that's stuff, that's the one. That's the one. Okay. That's the one. They look identical. I said the same thing. They look identical. <laughs> she slowly processes the word, then snickers with laughter. What's that? Points at the stuffed bird hanging from the ceiling. It's a grouse. She yelps, smiling broadly. Oh, you're smart. You might be able to get on God's good side if you replace the broken skewer you almost certainly broke. Oh. Mm, yes, but what's it for? I don't know. Can I have it? I know someone who really likes stuffed birds. Sure, just go and get it. I don't like it anyway. It looks angry. Thank you, Lily. Actually, I don't know her name yet. Yeah, we do. <laughs> All right. You just need to grab it from the ceiling and go. What's that thing you're holding? It's Lammy. He's my friend. Sort of. Like. She holds up the fuzzy beasts to demonstrate. It's totally not stealing if you ask a child if you can have a possession that happens to be in their house. They understand the contract has been sealed. <laughs> Lambie is a stuffed lamb that, admittedly, has seen better days. One of the eye buttons is missing, and the fur is tattered in several parts. Mm. Okay, so I know the move is to, like fix it and make it all better but like it's extra cute when it's damaged yeah <laughs> he looks soft okay well we don't need to talk about the falling apart <laughs> okay. we, don't, we don't need to ruin okay we're passing over it what you want you want you got you got a crit <laughs> well maybe she likes it like that that's what i'm saying no, so, so why even acknowledge it do you see a needle and thread in our pocket? Do we have any nope. any buttons? Nope. So what the fuck are we about to do? Not mention it. Yes. Very soft. Suddenly, she pushes the stuffed animal toward your face. Oh, I don't deserve it. I'm scum. Don't say that to a little girl. Just, <laughs> just press your cheek. I don't deserve it, Reggie. That's too wholesome. Press your damn cheek against <laughs> The lieutenant sounds authoritative and surprisingly <laughs> gruff. Press your damn cheek against Lambie. Uh, it's, 
It's too pure. I'm st I'm trash. I don't. I can't. Isn't he soft? Oh. She's right. Lampy is very soft. She rubs the white fur against your cheek. Oh, I can't then handle turns this. The lamp into her lap. This house is. It. We gotta go. Bye. You're gonna fuck it all up. You're gonna fuck it all up. You have to get out of here now. You have to get out of here. You can't stay here. Coal pellets burn with an orange glow. You want to see a dead body? <laughs> I, you have to leave. We got a grouse. Grouse, grouse taxidermy, 750. We also have a level. We can hold it for a second. For a little bit. All right, what do we have? Ruffed grouse taxidermy. The dead body of a grouse stuffed with some unknown material. From a distance, it might just pass off as the, as the real thing. The bird itself looks extremely ruffled and slightly grumpy. Okay. Well. Now, now, Reggie. Sir? You must place a dead taxidermy animal in your house right in front of your bed so that's the first thing you see when you wake up every day what do you get done i have to you have no choice i am thinking fox and it has to be something larger than let's say something that is at least the size of a basketball yeah so you can't say like a bug yeah a fox a fox yeah yeah fox with like one paw raised up looking you know like it's like hunting or something damn okay i guess you're not as weirded out by the concept as i am i have a friend who's well a friend no a friend who's no. really into taxidermy no and they pick up animals no 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 that's not yeah. that's a person that you need to find you need to be careful <laughs> i'm sorry i'm I, I don't i snap judgment time Anybody who's aggressively into taxidermy probably might be suppressing some fucking shit. <laughs> Why are you into dead animals so hard, man? I don't know. Come on now. I don't know, but Come on. Regularly, I see some animal on my Facebook feed and it's like, I'm gonna stuff it. I will, I will barely accept like something like, hey, look, it's the family business. Mm -hmm. I will barely accept oh, that. No, that is a hobby for nah, them. No, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Go check their bookmarks. You're not sure about the melody, but it might be Saf Samaran, possibly Sigean, also, also known. known as the Apricot Suzerainty. Yeah. Welcome to the fishing village. Please lean in closer. I have cut up. Wow. No, this area is too nice. We gotta go, man. I wow. feel like it's just... They're not in the main city, you know? They still have their humanity about them. Like, there's a part in near Automata when you go to a happy little village of robots and you're like, I'm playing a platinum character action game right now. And there is a pacifist robot peace village. We need to get the fuck out of here immediately. <gasps> you know? Don't want to mess it up. Lean forward. Uh. Oh, welcome, police officer. We don't cause any trouble around here. And we don't want any trouble either. Didn't say nothing about that. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame what he said. We're cops. We don't cause trouble. We take care of trouble. Yeah. Something like that. You should have seen that fucking roundhouse kick. Oh. It was wild, lady. It was wild. We're cops. We're hellraisers. Click, click, bang, bang. There you go. <laughs> oh, of course. Last time we saw you around here was... Twelve years ago. You also came to take care of trouble then. Wish you did. But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. Oh, wait, I've been here before? Click, click, click! Is that too... 
Is that too boomer for the for the audience these that days? That might be too boomer. It's a little too boomer, huh? Yeah. Because <laughs> that a- was <laughs> that was when we were growing up. That was a big thing back then. Everybody would know about that. Yeah. <laughs> Click, click, click. Uh, what kind of ill omen are we talking about? I, I am totally an ill omen. It's exactly what I've been telling everyone. The end is here. If I'm considered an ill omen, why hasn't anyone told me yet? Uh, I've been here before. Well, you mean our, our kind, clearly. No, not you personally. I meant the RCM. Some of the men got into a fight. One of them killed another. Locked himself in that woodshed over there. Oh. He was boarding. Needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him and took him to think about what he'd done in a more secluded place. Somewhere more quiet. Oh. She says it as if he was on some kind of spiritual retreat. What kind of an ill omen are we talking about? Oh, the usual. Dark tidings. Black hound. That's you, all right. Mm -hmm. A black hound licking your own heels. I am totally an ill omen. It's exactly what I've been telling everyone. The end is... Oh, God. Do we go apocalyptic cop on the nice old lady? Well... Uh, as opposed to playing uh, feigning ignorance. Oh, you know you're bad, Lou. Well, you know you're bad. With all due respect to our nice little babushka over here, I guess we're going in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. You're not. <laughs> no one around here considers us an ill omen. <laughs> People would have told us. Kim, can I just have some fun? Officer. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Harry looks down. <laughs> Why? Because you're an ill omen. But you're still welcome here. As long as men with guns aren't chasing you. And maybe even then. Because that's the kind of fishing village we've been. I love how we're trying to fuck with her. Or like, yeah, yeah, let's see what she'll say. And Kim is like, no. And I'm like, oh. Dude, <laughs> like I said, in any other game, you are normal and the crazy happens around you or to you. In this, you are the fucking crazy, and the world is just really accepting of your massive faux pas. <laughs> and if they're not, then Kim steps in to at least go, don't mind my fucking idiot friend, yeah. you know? I'm sorry there's not a lot of room to park the motor carriage, and not a lot of houses, or a lot of people. My kids are long gone, searching for treasure. So are others. Ah, look at me ramble on. What brings you to us? God, you know that chair is like grooved into the shape of her spine. <laughs> if she was in the sunlight, her shadow would be burnt into the ground for years. Where could someone stay around here? Stay? Most people here are trying to leave. That said, if lodgings is what you're looking for, I've got a free room in the Oh. Shop. How much is it? I won't charge you for it. Take it as a gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCA. Wow. If you hobo cop, you can sleep here. Wow. Wow. Yo, okay. Wait, hold on. You're just giving it to me? So hold on a second. If we have a free room... That's twenty dollars more a day. That's twenty dollars more a day, and uh, we get to be further out in the map, and we can quick travel here. Yes, but we lose our mirror. Is there anything else we lose? No, I think we cleaned our room up. If we're done I'm with sure the mirror, a bunch of a white check in that area, though. If we're done with the mirror, then that's fucking free real estate. Okay. You're just giving it to me? Not sure it's appropriate for the RCM to accept free accommodations. This guy, Gart, who makes me give him money every night so I don't die out in the cold. Wow. Don't make him... S sure. What's our communism number? 
12. All right. Let's get that 13. <laughs> That's exactly how they get ya. That's why we built our own cinder block houses on the seaside. So we don't have to give money to those crooks. We might not look like much, but they are ours. Now they must be so cold. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cinder blocks. Wait, why isn't anyone using the room? One more time. I can just have the room. You got yourself a tenant. Get the keys. Wow. I don't want a free room. It's not proper. Stay at the Whirling in Rags. Uh, My kids grew up and left like they do. The house is long. Oh, ago. man. I live in the small side attachment. It's easier and cheaper to keep warm. I worry for the kids nearby that have to hear, you know, this. <laughs> Whatever happens inside this menu over here. This... <laughs> This children are not going to do well with this. You need to be at least fucking you need you need your high school diploma before they tell you about this. <laughs> uh I I I mean I'm So do we just permanently shift over so you can just Or do we out the room? I get I mean let's just take it. One more time. I can just have it. I. Okay. The room is pretty bare bones. But it's got a bed and roof over it. So we, uh, That's more than some folks have around here. So I assume then we can we don't have to like transmit our like home icon on the map to another location. No, screw that. You just pick where bats. you want to be. Yeah. When Varsan communist revolutionary Ignaz Nielsen was in hiding, he stayed in a hut on the Boreal Plateau for ten months. Damn. Look at us fucking being bi coastal. Yeah, all that real estate. Got a pad in LA. Got a pad in New York. Maybe even Miami. I got two homes. Don't get me wrong, but bare bones isn't usually my style. I would. It would help me uh, stay in touch with my proletariat. Mm, this could be the first chapter of my rags through riches memoir. Now this is real Revacholian <laughs> hospitality. That guard must be half kipped or something. Oh my god! No. I thought we were gonna go. I, the first half was fine. It was great. Unfortunate. You have to ruin it. That incremental development hasn't elevated this neighborhood yet. I see potential here. <laughs> All right, so racism then. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking gentrification option. No. So racism it is. I don't need much. That sounds just fine. Pick one of these options. I can live with the kipped, but rich people. Poor people? Oh, no. No. Fuck never. off. You get disgusting rats. Oh, my God. Well... <laughs> I guess Oh, this is gonna push it Oh, what about this one? Bare bones ain't my style I guess that's going all fashion cop Super Yeah, that's, uh, that's all superstar So superstar, commie Ultra liberal Nationalist uh, moral intern slash whatever, and then you I can don't just need much. This sounds just fine. Yeah. All right. No, because that's boring cop. We don't want to be boring cop. I'll, I'll put two. I'll take a superstar point. I can see that. Everyone can see you think well of yourself. Now, are you interested or not? You got yourself a tenant. Yeah. Make an old woman regret opening her house to the police. A key appears from under her hip. Oh man, I feel like I'm taking advantage of this poor lady. No, no. We were worse with Lena, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. She has just an mm -hmm. empty house. It's not being used. Willie's refusal to acknowledge any of the political options is weirding me out. Well, stay weirded out, friend, because it's nothing to nothing too hard to read deep into. I'm not going communist, I'm not going ultra-liberal, and I'm not going nationalist. Gee, I wonder what that makes me. Not either of those things. I'm looking for something a little more, uh, I don't know, 
shall we say, uh, left-leaning on it. Well, if you are not in the hostel in the morning, I'll know where to find you. Here, in a shack. Centrist grilling. Grill-pilled. Grill-pilled, yes, exactly. <laughs> grill-pilled? Grill-pilled. When there's, when you don't, when you're, you're just like, God damn it, I just want to grill. I just want to be a moralist. Right? In a world where there's no bottom left. In a world where you're, you're where you can't use uh, empathy as a, as, a, as a defining point for a lot of kick kickoff discussions, then you just gotta get slammed into the middle. Mm -hmm. God forbid. There is no bottom left in this world. He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. Yeah, that room has fine empathy. Should he? This environment encourages one thing, and one thing only. Drinking. Mm. What is in this fishing village? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what is further down the coast? Tell me about yourself. Who exactly are uh, who exactly are you here? Don't you know anything about a lost jacket? Do you know anything about a lost jacket? And goodbye. Just us. It's barely a village anymore. We almost don't exist. What do you mean? This is pretty much a non-place. A gap. A blank spot on the map. Just a cluster of nameless shacks on a nameless street. The place is so pornographically poor, it's not even funny. This place is pornographically poor? Pornographically? <laughs> There's gotta be something here, tell me. Uh, who else lives in this village? Is there a way to make a little money around here? Alright, that's another topic I'd like to address. Pornographically. There's gotta be something here. Well, who else lives here, rather? Well, there's Lillian and her kids. A few new folks live in the house to the east. But they are away right now. Hmm. And then there's the drugs. Not a pretty sight, but there's little we can do about it. Home is home, even for them. She doesn't know I'm one of them. Oh god, what if I become that drunk that invites the boys in? Oh no. Uh, the neighborhood. Do you remember my old place? Not my last place, but the one before that? Where, like, cause it, was, like it was a pretty s decent building and it was fun and it was alright. With, um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Schmuck yeah, got yeah. Pat and Min and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, it was just like, there was a, uh, there was a dude there that basically was like, we're just gonna, um, more or less, like, I'm paying the rent here, but I'm turning it into more or less a hotel slash Airbnb, Airbnb without the Airbnb. Yeah. Because it was kind of like, it felt as it it felt as if it was kind of like, if you show up and you provide me with a substance of my choosing, then you can more or less just use the spot, and, and it crash. and it kind of resulted in like some weird, fucking encounters, from time to time that wasn't great, so, yeah, I don't want to do that to this lady. I'm sure you did. Nature keeps them in rotation. A new fist pops up every now and then, and an old one disappears and is forgotten. This is who we are. She's been watching. A couple people got their doors kicked in. There's got to be something here. Tell me. Over there, you can find more of the same. Sharks and trees growing wild. That's the pot. Shivers? Between here and Jamrock. A dusty sea of old trees, all covered in industrial soot. Small houses under them, an overgrown park. The parks, what's that? An old military hospital and its surroundings. Or oh, it used to be, during the time of the suzerain. After the war, it was turned into a goodwill hospital for shell shock veterans and folks looking for some quiet in the old sanatorium gardens. That's the apricot suzerain tea to you, <laughs> you old bag. Now the area is crisscrossed with nameless streets and makeshift cinder block houses. 
Shucks as far as the eye can see. The goodwill ran out. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's long gone by now. Probably should have spoke to her first, eh? To like set up Kakariko Village over yeah. here. <laughs> Is there a way to make money? For you? No officer. The only money we have here is some coins the drunks tried hiding from their women and then forgot about. <laughs> Under carts, boats, in little boxes. We already found it's some. not hard to find. The lack of wealth is the one thing we've got in abundance. The woman smiles cryptically. Ha. <laughs> Riddles fits with the general ambiance here. Aye. Sometimes... It's as though I'm also gotten lost inside this nameless nothing. I'm lost too. Oh, it seems to be a common theme these days. I'm in the process of finding myself again. Maybe I should stay lost, just move here and disappear completely. I'd rather go back to talking about the village. Hmm. Isn't that what people always think when they are lost? Something I can do for you to find your way, officer. The lack of wealth. Riddles. Aye. Sometimes it's as though I'm also gotten. Oh, it seems to be a common theme these days. Maybe I should. Maybe. Oh. It'll be easy. But right now you want something from me, right? Okay. Well, morale damage is free these days, so. <laughs> she nods. Rinse in another piece of cloth. What's further down the coast? Not much. There's the abandoned church, the Dolorian Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time, even. Why is it abandoned? Some things just don't fly, officer. Look around. Who'd go to church here? They built it 300 years ago. Must have been nicer then. So, they don't hold services there anymore? The Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. No, we've tried, but things just keep happening. Crime, accidents. accidents, other things. The place never stays open. It's a pity. It used to be such a nice church. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. Ecclesiastes is a good old biblical name. Hmm, Pick one of them books. Uh, I get the feeling you're leaving stuff out. What else is going on? Oh, we're not going to even roll a check for that? What else is down on the coast? Why is this on down coast? Heard enough. Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. Huh. It started a few days ago, and now it's blasting, even through the night. And now... Suspicious looking people are sneaking around the church. I don't like that. All right, she doesn't seem to be inferring that there's a problem with the music coming from across the sea. <laughs> but the head tilt was like, All right, lady, what else is down coast? Before you get to the church, there's some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant. Run down bunch of houses, empty. Hmm, which is it then? Apartments or electrical plant? Hmm. So, would you agree that, like, if you're an octogenarian, you, you get what? You get, yeah? You get a. And, and it's a shield, it regenerates. <laughs> if the conversation ends, the shield regenerates because you also might not be fully there. Yeah. All right, that's good. fair. <laughs> just one, not not two. Just one. It's just one. Okay. okay. And it and it regenerates. <gasps> okay, that's good. Because it's an idle thought as we pass over the topic, mm -hmm. and we can keep on moving. Right. But if you come back to it, now we have you. Now we have health damage. I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. It used to be something. Before the war. I wasn't here then, you know. Was born in Samara. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Anything else of note? Of note? The old fish market up on the boardwalk. But it's closed. 
Who'd want to come to a fish market here? No one. That's why it's closed. It was once a bustling place, back when I was young, and so was everyone else. I didn't think this lady would lock us in, but she did. But she also gave us a free room, so mm -hmm. we're going to stand here and yeah. take it. Let's entertain now, that. what catch we do bring in goes straight into a lorry for the Delta or somewhere else. We're giving her her longest conversation she's had all month. Perhaps years. <laughs> That's it. It's got to be more along the coast. What? You are one of those real estate people with big plans? If you want a development opportunity, you can check out the abandoned building over at Lensen. Used to be a supply depot. We think, sending goods and ammo across the bay. It's jam shut though. We tried to get in, see if there was anything to sell or scavenge, but it's impossible. And now you know everything there is to know about this coast. She drops a bar of soap into the bucket with a splash. This might be the rest of the day. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, let's go. Me? No one. Just an old washerwoman. Mother called me Isabel, if that's what you're asking. And my married name is Sadie. Now it's your turn, Mr. Uh, Lieutenant Double, your freighter, Harrier Dubois. You can call me Tequila Sensei. <laughs> I lost my name. Hmm. Are you familiar with uh, uh, Renee, by any chance? Mm hmm. Why the handle you got there? So many titles. One of them, Double. She's the impressed. old woman nods with evident respect. She is impressed. All right. Anything about a jacket? What do you want with a lost jacket? That's an excellent question. <laughs> well, that's for me to know and you to find out, huh? There's honor in retrieving lost things. One of the drunks lost his and I agreed to look for it. It's not for me. I'm on a philosophical journey to fetch it for someone. There's honor in retrieving lost things. <laughs> Fetchers are some of the most honorable people I know. Her smile gleams like a freshly honed knife. Maybe the jacket is up my butt. Are you getting a reward for it at least? No. No. What? You're fetching someone's missing laundry free of charge? Do you not have anything better to do? You're giving me a room to stay free of charge, lady. In fact, he does. The lieutenant glances at his watch. It is 6 p.m. None of my business, either way. How you spend your hours is up to you. Hey now. We're two peas in a pod. Anyhow, you might ask Lillian if she's seen anything lately. That girl's got a way of attracting lost and broken things. All right. Your conversation with this babushka has unlocked your superstar? Let's go! Some kind of superstar. They say the world Whoa. isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, Fuck off and die <laughs> with a cool voice. You people have no idea how good these cops are gonna get. They're gonna crack 20 cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists or prime ministers or prophets. And you're the first one. Oh god, where's the camera? Doing stunts, right? Flipping your gun. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Minus one logic, price of self-delusion. Learning cap for visual calculus, suggestion, electrochemistry, and composure raised to six. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. No, we need... But you need to be laid back in a fucking motor carriage with this kind of thought. 
and you need the big old shades on and your sideburns to be shooting off the side of your head. Thick. No bush. Beyond thick. Aggressive. Wow. volume. Yeah. That's a lot of... That's a lot of... We got our learning cap up, but we lost some logic. It's a fair trade. That's fine. Hell yeah. There we go. All right. There is a... State monopoly on violence. That is a true observation. Violence belongs to everyone. If someone breaks a law or a rule, like a parking ticket, and then chooses to continue to not pay it, eventually someone might kick your door in, and if they kick your door in and you don't know what's going on, you might get shot. That's a real thing. The discussion on when you make a law, are you willing to take a life in order to enforce it, is a very important one. Yeah. That does need to occur. It's all, and it's also a very uh, anti-authoritarian talking point, which uh, firmly pegs you in the either libertarian or uh, whatever non-existent <laughs> what non-existent quadrant exists in the in this world over here because uh it's a it's a it's a triad with a, a big old grill in the middle good business good business 